Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to integrate your noise library with your ADSR sample manager. So I've got this basic loop. And what I can do is to integrate my noise library, all I have to do is find the location of my noise library and I can do this by pressing this gear icon here and then I can find the location where it's saved to and I can also change this if I wanted to. In this case I've just added it to my favourites bar. What I can now do is go to ADSR, click on Add Library, click on Noise and you can see it's got all of my noise files there. You can see it scans and tags those instantly and now we can search for them. We can also play them through the keyboard. So just to demonstrate this. And what we can also do here, which is really useful, is if we go back to our noise plugin, then what we can do is we can search for new sounds. We could either do this on the plugin or actually on the web browser. In this case, I'll do it in the plugin. So we'll go for, let's go top sounds of all time. We'll just listen to some of these. So obviously we could drag these in as audio. And you can see we can also preview these just like we did there. Making sure that it's in time with the tempo here. So what we can now do is we can take this into our project. And to do that, all we have to do is just remember the name of this. It's 90 percussion tamp. And if we drag this into our project uh, as audio, that's then going to save it into the noise sound library folder. So if I just drag this over real quick. And by dragging it into the project, it's now downloaded into our noise sounds folder. So just to show you this, if we go to downloads, we should now find it here. There we go, 90 percussion tamp. And because it's now in our noise folder, then what we can do is if we just go back to our library here, our noise library, you can see it's got 26 audio files. All we have to do is hit refresh and you can see it's now updated. It's got two more. So all we have to do now is look for the tag or we could also look for the name of the file. So in this case, I'll just type in TAMB and you can see there it is right there. It's been tagged with percussion. So if I wanted to play this, I could either draw in some notes and then I could trigger one of these parts. So I could use it as a one shot. So let's give that a go. You can see it's just playing that one shot. Or I could just play it as one entire loop. So to do that, I just overwrite this with one long note. And then you can see I'm free to now play that. I'll just mute this one. Well, likewise, I could even play it in if I wanted to. So I could. Change the pitches as well. So that's the end of this video showing you how you can integrate your noise library into your ADSR sample manager plugin.